Hey friends, Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to my channel. I can sure toss two of them, but I cannot juggle three for the life of me. But anyway, um, today I am going to make some onion powder by dehydrating my onions that I have stored. Um, but first I have to clean out my dehydrator because I um, dehydrated some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes last night to make some tomato powder. So I thought I'd bring you along for that too. So I dehydrated these um, tomatoes last night. I washed them off, first of all, cut them in half, and the bigger ones I quartered, laid them in here, uh, skin down, and the uh, flesh side with the seeds up, okay, like this. These have dehydrated for probably about 10 hours, um, you know, maybe close to 12, but they are good and dry. I, you can tell I mean, I've got this thing, I've crumbled up a couple of them just to kind of see. I'm making it into powder, but do you see how it just crumbles up into powder like that? And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to pulverize them in my Ninja that I've got over there. I know this isn't going to make a whole ton of powder, but every bit does count, guys. This will add up if you just keep on doing it and adding it to your jar, it will add up. The powder can be used to thicken up sauces. You can use these as just sun-dried tomatoes if you um, want to put them in olive oil, but you need to keep those in your refrigerator when you do that. You can spice them up with some Italian seasoning or whatever, but this, this is also great in like a pasta dish. You can... Um, you know, put the powder in the pasta um, after it boils and put butter, and it gives it a fantastic flavor. That's what we got here out of, every tray was full of cherry tomatoes, but you know what guys, just, just keep on doing this and it will add up. I'm just going to put it in this little bitty half pint jar. It's just pulverized. Seeds and all. Isn't that beautiful? And it smells fantastic, guys. And that is just an excellent way to use up some of your cherry tomatoes. We just got a ton of cherry tomatoes this season. So I am tossing an oxygen absorber in here. I have labeled my lid tomato powder 2022. This is just a used lid that I've saved. And there we go. On to the onions. I'm just going to, I've cut the head off and the tail. Now I'm just gonna cut a slit right here like this and just peel like that. They'll come off pretty easy if you do it like that. And then I'm gonna cut it in half. and I'm just gonna start cutting it. I kinda have to hold it together so my hand is in the way there. I'm gonna do it this way. Horizontally, I suppose, first. I'm sure you don't need a lesson in how to cut up onions, but you never know. I find this the easiest way to do it. The smaller, the better. They'll dehydrate quicker. The ones that you see that didn't get chopped up really good enough, small enough, just go ahead and cut those. And then whoosh, just right on into my tray there. So I am absolutely crying over here, but they're tears of joy because I'm gonna have so much onion powder. It's gonna be wonderful. I've got the dehydrator all nicely cleaned out. These are the um, mesh mats that I was talking about here that I only have one for the bottom. So I'm gonna use that on the bottom. And then for these other racks that I have, I'm gonna use this cheesecloth that I have. I'm gonna cut some of this up and lay those on my um, dehydrator trays. So I'm just putting the uh, layer of onions on this tray here. You don't necessarily have to just have them all, you know, nice and neat and spread out with onions. Just make sure they're not tons of them overlaying each other here. Now my dehydrator, um, I'm not able to set a temperature on here, but I believe that it goes to automatically to 125. 
and I am gonna dehydrate these outside. And they should take probably about 10 hours or so, just depending on the humidity um, outside is how long they will take, or the humidity in your house. That, that kind of uh, makes a difference on how long it'll take to dry them out. You can dehydrate these in your oven if you need to. You just put them on a tray and put them on your lowest setting. Um, if you don't have a dehydrator or you know if you're off grid you don't have electric you can take these outside into the sun and sun dry them or you can put them in your solar oven um, either way so I'm gonna go set these outside okay now here's a grandma trick to get the onion smell off of your hands after you're done chopping up all those onions is to use a stainless steel knife and just wash your hands with it rub it on your hands and that'll get rid of the onion smell So I've used soap and I've used this stainless steel knife. Let's give it a sniff test. Guess what? No onion smell. It's wonderful. Thank you to all you wonderful grandmas for this useful bits of knowledge that you've passed on to us. Perfect. All right, I've got my dehydrator plugged in outside. It is going. Um, well, I'm not really sure exactly how long it's going to take, but I have them dehydrating outside. They are very strong in smell. If you don't mind the smell in your house, um, you know, by all means, just do it inside. But I prefer to do onions and garlic and things like that outside. Still have a few romas growing. And I'm still getting all of these beautiful cherry tomatoes. I have so many on this plant. Some are turning red, but we just had a huge abundance of cherry tomatoes this year. Okay, back to the onions. We are here the very next day and they have been dehydrating for approximately 10 hours now. And I think that they're pretty good and dry, so let's go ahead and pull them off the dehydrator. At this point, you can either grind these up and make your own onion powder. Um, you would just use, if you have a pestle, a ground pestle, you can just grind those up. It wouldn't take any time at all to do that. Or you can throw them into a food processor, a blender, a coffee grinder, whatever you have. Now, I'm going to leave mine like this today because I also dehydrate my own potatoes here on the homestead. And what I'm going to do, I will link that video down in the description below, how to dehydrate these and also how to pack them into Mylar bags for storage. What I'm going to do is pack some dehydrated potatoes mixed with some uh, minced dehydrated onion and I will put those in a Mylar bag and we can um, hydrate those and have fried potatoes or um, just, you know, whatever. They just look so much better than store-bought. The, the color is different, the smell is different, and personally to me it is just worth it if you can dehydrate them at home to do it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We sure do appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.